out of here, right, guys. All right. All right. How, How are you doing? Put your oaths and your warrant cards, please. Just going to let you know I'm recording audio and video. It's to gather yeah, evidence in case you're unlawful anyway. I just want to ask you today, are you on your oath of office? Uh, what, what do you mean by that? Are you on your oath of office are you today, serious? officer? Are you serious? No, I'm just asking what you mean by that. Well, are you acting on your oath of office? Are you going to stand on your oath of office today? Because under your oath of office, you have to, you know, adhere to our fundamental human rights and use discernment. So, we just so want to make obviously, sure we will cheat you to your human rights. I just want to make sure you're on your oh, oath of office, that, and I'd just like to take your name and your numbers before we talk. So, I'm PC Griffiths, 30213. Thank you very much. I'm PC Fro, 30513. Sorry, so, say again. PC Fro, 30513. Right, can I see your identity as well, please? Yeah, do you want to see my warrant card? Yes, thank you. So there's my warrant card. Oh, I won't film that, but thank you very much. So PC Griffiths, 30213. Yeah, thank you very much, David. And thank you very much, Ashley. Thank you. So what's going on today then? Uh, we're seizing the building. Uh, do you want to speak to this gentleman here? This would be the perfect guy to speak to. No, he's going to tell um, them what's... We're common law standing from Chester. Um, Supposedly, supposedly working in unison with practical lawful dissent. Um, Article 61 has been invoked, and over the over the nation now, um, law-abiding law citizens are now seizing public buildings, which have been usurped from us by the legislative government, which is not a lawful government. Common law is the, the law of the land. We stand under common law. Uh, today, we have de we have chosen this building because this building is supposed to be a public library. Uh, a public library belongs to the people, it's paid for by the people and therefore it should not be uh, usurped and placed into, placed into a, a commercial uh, profit making organisation. It belongs to the people, the people pay for it. So what we've done today, we've taken control of this, uh, of, of this building under Magna Carta 1215, um, which is our, uh, our right to do so as, as a law abiding citizens. And what we want to do today is also use this opportunity to liaison with the police uh, in a public building, which we have, we have the right to be. No one has the right to, to remove us from this building unless we are committing a crime. If there's a crime, there has to be a victim. So we've done nothing wrong today. We've been very respectful. We've come in, we've, uh, we, we, we did what the owner said. We sat down uh, only to be met with a um, uh, Standoff. Hostile. <laughs> very. Uh, we got on with video as well. Very hostile. Uh, very, very security hostile guard. Uh, attitudes towards us in a public building, which we paid for. And they're impersonating police officers. And they're impersonating police officers. We felt totally intimidated. Not only this. This happened last week, wasn't it? Yeah, last week. When, when, we, when we came as, as a group, just as a day out, we were. Uh, they tried to force us to wear masks, where there is no law in this land that says we have to wear the masks even if the government brings out a bill that says we have to do so. Because under Magna Carta, we have nothing to do with legislation. Legislation is not law. Government cannot make law. Yeah, we already have the law. And again, I'll, I'll, I'll say it again, it's Magna Carta, it's not good um, And so therefore, we have the right to come in a building which we pay for, without harassment, without having to be made to force, forced to wear masks, and come in and enjoy the facilities, not have to put up with a bar with, with blaring music if I wanted to come in and educate myself. Yeah, like that's it. what public libraries are for, education and, and the recreational recreation of, of, of that comfort in peace and quiet. Instead, we came in here to be harassed, to be forced to wear masks. We've got, we've got music, as you can hear now, blaring away, because some cognitive um, abilities can't learn with music going on. That's why libraries are quiet. Yeah? You have a choice you can wear headphones and then nobody else has to listen to it. But listen to that now. How can I listen? How can I learn with that going on? Yeah. Yeah, that's these are the points I'm making out. We uh, want to know what's happened to our public library. It's been sold off, so we want the deeds back to the The public library please. now yeah, is in a private building. We run as a business, which is totally uh, unlawful. Yeah. And we want to know why our public library has been reserved and placed in this situation and why it isn't in a public building where none of these harassments exist. And that's why we that's the main reason we come here. Also, um, we, we, we also uh, are in acknowledgement of the high treason that the government has committed uh, through the decades, uh, going back from uh, 1973, uh, when um, Teddy and his co-conspirators 
forced high treason by trying to sign us in, into the European Union, which is high treason. So everybody in the nation now who's standing under Magna Carta 1215, which Article 61 was invoked, uh, has sent notices to all the ministers in, in Britain who were uh, um, acting as Crown agents. <coughs> Uh, the Queen is our head of state. She serves the people, yeah, which the police officers uh, are supposed to, uh, as constables, swear an oath <coughs> to the Queen to serve the people, therefore that you work for us, not the other way round. Um, just uh, where, where policy. Sorry? Partial to policy. Partial to policy, yeah. Under uh, Magna Carta Protocol. And so therefore, um, I forgot where I was now, I'm sorry about this. Uh, yeah. So pretty much, treason has been going on for a long time now. Not just talking about the studies, we're talking yeah, about the creation of parliament and government. Can we turn the music off, please? Yeah, can we turn the music down, please? We're in a public building. Yeah. It strictly prohibits that. It prohibits all foreign intervention and all treason. So when we're talking about an original treaty that strictly prohibits the things that have happened and the things that have been prohibited have happened, we're actually talking about the creation of parliament and government as being really the first kind of point of the birth of treason. With it being the point of the birth of treason and legislation coming from treason and us having an open declaration of treason being declared and an implication of clause 61, which is our anti-treason clause, all acts and statutes that come from that treason HQ are null and void. So we're all here to restore the rule of law. We're actually breaking the law if we don't do this. Which yeah. puts me we back on duty. Which has put me back on duty. you have a duty too. Because of the blaring music, uh, I was tracked off. That, that's fantastic, thank you. Um, so we've come here today with demands for the arrest of uh, Chief Inspector Gareth Wrigley, who is now superintending, we believe, Gareth Wrigley, and Chief Inspector uh, Anchors, I believe, who's taken on the role of um, uh, Chief Inspector, which we... Which we I've put him on notice as well. So he knew about the acts of treason. He's done nothing about it. He's not got in touch with us. Uh, he's not given me any reason whatsoever to he's say. Not reported it, so he's basically yeah. agreeing with us. Yeah. What, what, yeah. In law, what is not reported <coughs> is not denied. Yeah, that's, that's, that's in law. Right. So that he, he, he's, he's committed high treason by not doing that. Uh, anybody in denial of uh, uh, common law, it's sedition by common law, and it, it carries full asset stripping and life imprisonment. Yeah. This is what the police need to realise now, because if you're yeah. on the wrong side of the law, we'll yeah. have to talk yeah. to you. So yeah. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take off you a bit. Now, basically, you're in the wrong jurisdiction. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 your superintendent is committing yeah. crimes on you by making you suffocate yourself. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So yeah. It's just taking your help. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm wearing this by, by choice. Well, that's that's fair it's not yeah. by choice, by coercion. You believe there's a virus. Through media manipulation, you believe there's a virus that that mask protects. I understand you don't have to wear them in public. I chose to wear this today. No, but why wasn't you wearing it five years ago? Yeah, exactly. So, what I'm saying now is. What, we want is, what we're trying to do is to educate you, as the gentleman just said there, you are being cursed into uh, <coughs> criminal acts now just by being here. You think, you think we're joking, you better think again, because we're, if you don't bring Gareth no Wrigley here, because we're not moving, if you don't bring Gareth Wrigley here, we're constitutions, everything that we can back up, we can back it up with yeah. black and white. Then, then we're going to put you on, on the rest of the pace out, 1984. I can see your long term goal with this, and your short term is obviously the music, the bar here. Like you said, this is a private venue. No, it's a public venue. Owned by the council. Can you let me finish, please? So it's owned by the council, which is rented to a private company. It's supposed to be a public venue. Let him speak. Let him speak, and then we'll yeah. speak again afterwards. Yeah. Let him Thank speak. you. Right. Let him speak. So it's private company, and the manager has asked you to leave. Well, we're not leaving. It's a licensed premises, and they do have the powers to do no, that. No, you don't. This is a public. Whether you agree with it or not. No. That's right. Can, I, can, I, can, I, can I speak to you now, please, sir? Yep. Right. So basically, you're out of your jurisdiction. You stand under the Maritime Admiralty Law, which is law of the sea. You're out of your jurisdiction here. We have yeah. more authority than both of you two and the rest of your force, and, and, yeah. and we can prove this, and Sorry we can make that. citizens arrest too. Exactly. So we're trying to educate and we're trying to get you guys on board to see sense. There's been mass fraud and corruption. This is medical fraud, this is economic fraud. Right? We have more authority. We are living men and women. We don't stand by our birth certificates. You're out of your jurisdiction. We stand on a common law, universal law, which is the law of the land. You are working, and as an officer, and we respect you guys, and you've got that uniform and you have no rights. You have obligations and roles, and that is it. Right, hold on. So you're out of your jurisdiction here. Are you going to help us or are you going to leave? Because if you're not going to help us, we'd rather you left. We'd love you to help At us. At the moment, I want to ascertain why you're here and 
Right, yeah, what, what, can I, I to you? I've only heard one side of it. I want to hear your side of it. Right, 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 speak to one person rather than a few. One at a time. Let's all speak one at a time. Let's keep this civil. So we've literally been living in an open declaration of treason now for 20 plus years. Like we shouldn't have been living in it for half an hour. Treason should have been declared and we should have restored the rule of law to this country. And we should have been living in peace. Time. That hasn't happened. The usurpation has continued and a complete erosion of our rights has happened. And now we're here today, 20 years into an open declaration of treason to get everybody else to join us on it. You included. The government's lying to us. You, you guys always lie to us. You know what it is? You know. One person at a time. You cheat your own funder. Common law. Oh, common law. You swear your own. You swear your own. Do you want me to read your own file to you? Common law. Law of the land. You were meant to be on our side. Yeah. We, you work yeah. for the public. That's how it works. The, the police do work for the public. Yeah. 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 That, that, that side, I, I completely agree with. Check. So, the public. The public. so, as you can see, there's no breach of the peace here. We are peaceful and lawful. Yeah. You know, we're, we're trying to do something that's respectful to you guys, to everyone else. We're sticking up for everyone's rights, including you. Like the government has been lying to you. Your superiors are lying to you. Yeah. You've got ethylene yeah. oxide on your face. You've got ethylene oxide. So if you're being, obviously, like you say, you're being peaceful here and you're not causing any issues, I'll step outside and I'll pass that update. As long as you're not causing any issues to other, other members of the public, we agree. Right 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 we need to get down here now. Right here, right yeah, now. Yeah, right. And we need you to bring this new perspective in. We're going to be your answer to all in a minute. And you're responsible to be present for that. We're going to be your. We're going to be auditing the building. We, we need to what, what, what does that entail? Again, it's just Stop taking that. note of what's what's in the building, uh, making sure the the fire exits are all working and not chained so up and stuff. We'll and then also we need to see the documents uh, with regards to the ownership of this business, the corporation that's been used in the public building. Yeah. That's, well, is this, that's I'll all say I think it's a bit intimidating with all. No, 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 don't get intimidated. Like if, if one of you want to go speak to the manager about that, that's fine. Okay, yes, we fun. expect you to stand alongside us if we do that. Well, we want do that. You want yeah. you not a big group because yeah, that no isn't for them. Okay, no, 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 it's fine. We're not, we're not being aggressive. Can we One of you can go ask that, but I can't tell you what it is. Can I just say something? So now he's presented you the stuff. What is it you want to achieve with the Chief Inspector? What we want now is you, for you, because you're responsible now, because we've put you on notice. put you on notice You've got to bring Chief Inspector Gareth Wrigley here now. Yeah. Because now, if you don't act on what we've asked you to do, you could be held personally responsible in your personal capacity in a common law court with 12 of my peers and it won't be you won't be able to hide behind the police force it'll be you as your as as the living man and you as yeah. a living woman and, and if you if you read back on your office constable yeah if you read back on it i've got it right now i can show you if you want you are classed as an inde independent individual so you can be held liable yeah. and you won't be able to hide behind the uniform yeah. under that uniform you have no rights if you took that uniform off you have exactly the same rights as us but under that uniform, all you have is obligations and roles, and that's what you have to stick to. So now we have given you something to go to your chief inspector with. If you do not act on that, now we've got your name and your details, we can hold you personally responsible in a common law court, and that is the plan. Yes. We're trying to get you guys on board, but we're giving everyone two weeks now. Anyone that doesn't get on board and start helping with this lies, this corruption, you're, been, you're going to be uh, classed as complicit. And I guess what we've got here, what we've just found, the common law court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is not nonsense. We're trying to get you guys. So this can we can we just address the first bit? Where if you want to go speak to manager, I'll take one of you there. You can talk to him yourself. Yeah, yeah. You can understand that, that, that if they show you would prefer the manager to come here, he can go and sit at the bar. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, we need to, we need to they are intimidated by the big group. I'll have to facilitate more than one manager. So hold on. The rest of the group will move over the way. A couple of them are going to speak to the manager with you guys over there. One person speaks to one person. Well, there's no person. There's only people. There's only people. Persons are being person, people, whatever you want to identify as. One individual. Okay. All right, so as long as we can see our individual, our, our yeah, people, I don't expect them to go. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. We'll you pick out. someone, and I'll come back. Thank right. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything we're saying to you is the truth. Yeah, right? you're, you're shedding and passing on. You can't be held All I ask from you guys, obviously, don't disturb other people no, not involved no, no, no. and, 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 I, and I'm happy with that. I'm not saying you are, I'm saying that's all I'm I've asking. A, I've, I've recorded audio and video yep. of everything. Same. And we had something when we first come in and we extinguished the situation. The security guard was quite rude, I've got that as well. And I, I said, look, let's start again, let's all calm down. We spoke to the public, they understood what we were here for and they accepted it. So we, if everyone's respectful and calm, it's what we're doing. We can do it. Look at us now, talking to you guys. Uh, even if you don't, I, you know, we. Uh, well, if you don't recognise our laws, as long as you're calm, well, no, no, compliant no, no, like that. This is the thing, we do recognise your laws. So, Act, statutes and legislation is not real law, it's fictional law. It's, it's, it's based on our time. Regardless, regardless, as long as you're calm like that, there's no issue. Yeah, exactly. And I'm happy That's to converse great. with you. Thank you very much. But obviously, you can understand for the managers, it's intimidating with a big group of people yeah, when they don't understand what's going on.
And it'd be the same with you if loads of us were around one of you. But this 100%. One, we've you can take these off while you're talking to us though, if you want to. I'm happy to wear it. No, but okay. but we've this, I appreciate it. We've had this situation where we've, where we've been in this situation and the police haven't been respectful and they've been aggressive, which is why there's more of us. I'd rather talk to you and as long as there's no offences going on, I, I'm happy. And, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. You could see them melting, that girl, especially was going. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, mate. Wonderful stuff, brother. Wonderful stuff. No, we're all brilliant. Well, we can all go now. That was fantastic.